going on? It is me, Walter, back with another video for you guys. Today, we are doing another experiment, but this time, it's way cooler and more awesomer and stuff like that. So yeah, today we're doing the lava in a cup challenge. So basically what it is, you know, we get to make our own lava. It's not actually lava, but it's a... You know, it's not burning your hands off type of lava. It just kind of looks like lava and stuff. So, and it's like a bunch of bubbles and stuff. And it looks really cool. I'll be showing you how it works. I'll be doing the experiment for you. Everything like that. And I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, you guys. I am in the bathroom because people are in the living room. Which is also kind of like a dining room. So, yeah, I'm in the bathroom. And... I got my cups, or a cup, a, a clear cup, and some teaspoons, some uh, uh, vegetable oil, and some salt. That's, it. that's all you. That's all you need. And I got my computer here to um, read the directions from. So yeah. So what's what's first? What's first? First, we need to fill. This glass right here up with water, so let's do that really quick. Okay, boom, we got we got the water. Now what it says that we need is it says that we have to add about five drops of food coloring. Okay you guys, I have added in some red food coloring right there. So, what does it say next to do? So now, okay, so now I know what to do. So now we need to fill a little bit of the glass with some of the vegetable oil. So yeah. Okay, you guys. Um, okay, you guys. Um, so now, what we need to do is we need to grab our olive oil, just like I said, we need to poorly pour it in. So, you know, let's just do that really quick. Slowly pour it in. Oh, not the cap, sir. And the oil stop bubbling to the top. Cool, right? I know, that's why I wanted to get that part on camera. Now, all of the oil is now on top. It's it basically, it's, it's on top. It's on top of the, um, the water. So, now what we need to do is we need to get a little sprinkle, hold on, a little sprinkle of salt. For some reason it's not coming out, hold on. It's not really coming out that well. You know what? I need to figure this out really quick. Unless I'm just stupid and doing something wrong. I think I might be stupid. I'm not sure. Oh, hey, I got it open a little bit more. Oh! That was not good. Okay. That was not good. I almost just had the camera fall. So I'm gonna make sure that stays because that was not good. Oh, there we go. It's coming out a little bit more better now. Okay. Now, what it says, it said, um, I guess we can just like stir it maybe? I'm not sure. 
Boom. Look at that. It's like a bunch of crystals. It's like a tornado. There's a bunch of bubbles in it. Oh my gosh, you guys, you have to see this. You guys have to see this. It's like bubbling on top. Don't you guys see that? It's bubbling. Oh, shoot. <laughs> and it feels very sticky as well. Not that I felt it, but it felt, it feels very sticky. So, I'm gonna set these over here. But, um, yeah, there's a bunch of bubbles in it. And I cut some of it in my sink. That's pretty cool. Now, to, oh, hands are all wet. Now to see how it works. So what is happening here? What's, what's technically happening? Um, basically, what is happening is when you're pouring in the vegetable oil, it is lighter than the water, so it will float straight to the top. Once, once it's at the top, you're on to your next step. You're pouring in the salt. Because the salt is heavier than the vinegar, it will sink down to the bottom. Pulling along, or not the vinegar, the vegetable oil, <laughs> pulling the vegetable oil down with it. I think it's pretty cool, and that's what makes the bubbles. Just in case you were wondering, I, I think it's awesome. But um, it's, pr it's pretty cool. It's, it's, it's pretty legit. So, yeah, I hope that you like this video. Subscribe if you're new. Leave a comment for more science experiments down below. And, um, yeah. By the way, you can find this experiment at Science Bob. And if you really want to make this an experiment, or an experiment, try asking yourself questions like, if you added in different substances, or different, su su different things instead of salt, would it make the effect last longer such as sugar or sand if you substituted them out or would the size or shape of the glass change anything or yeah some other some other questions like that anyways you guys i hope you all had a good day i will see you all next time bye Yo!